Hi guys, it's Coach Anthony back at you with another episode of Chess Battles. It's the place where we get into the battle arena. We play games of chess. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, sometimes we draw. But hey, it's all good. It's always about the fun. Hope you guys can learn something while watching me either win, lose or draw. Okay, without no time to waste, let's get into the battle arena. Let's find an opponent. See what we've got today. We have the white team. Okay, time to absolutely crack on. And as you guys should know by now, we have the French, the French defense. Okay, let's see what's happening with that today. Um, again, if it's your first time, we have three minute time frame and two seconds every time you make a move. So at the moment, um, we should know by now at the beginning, it's always about trying to get those pieces out. Um, and so far, we're doing okay. We even got ourselves a pin. Knight can't move. But um, in these type of positions, you see there's an open doorway and red carpet towards the king. So, um, to both kings. Mm. So, you want me bishop, eh? Let's give you a ch chickity. Yep, I believe a chickity. And also protecting our bishop at the same time. Let's see how they're going to respond to this. I guess they'll block. Yep. Then I think I will... Ew. Hold on a minute. Can I be a bit of a pesty? I love being a pest. So, yeah, we'll grab this and then I'll castle. Because now my knight can hop here and attack the queen. Which means I'm getting my pieces faster. Anytime you can, that's a really, really, really important point, guys. Anytime you can attack somebody's piece and develop yours, it's really great. You see, I kind of get a two in one because now you have to waste a move doing something while I get another move to get my pieces safe. Even set up, oh, does it even work? Yes, it does. Set up a little trick. So say to them, go ahead and castle if you want to. Ah, oh, they never fell for it. But what about this? <laughs> okay, right. Um, now what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? All right. Hmm, well, obviously they didn't want to do much. So what we will do is we win ourselves a mignon at least. Mignon. And how are we going to do this is like that. Snap off that knight. And then snap off this bishop. And then win ourselves a mignon. And then a rookie. And we've won a mignon, possibly two. Two mignons. Okay, that's a deal I'll go for. Two minions. Hmm. So, looking good. Now, do I grab the minion like a greedy guy? Or, no. Do I, do I grab the minion? Minion, no minion. But my pieces are not developed. Do you know what? I'm ready winning by... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me set up something. I think there's another trick that I might want to set up. I want, I think I want double rook power. Because we've got a potential pin here. Well, let's see it. This knight is actually having to protect this rook. So I can always get rid of it. And if I can get my two rooks here as pressure, then I've got double pressure on this, this bishop here. Hmm. So we can start to maybe overload some pieces. They ran away! Oh my goodness. I mean, hmm. Surely they had things they could do, like maybe bring the king across to try and help with the extra defense. Don't think they had to run away right away, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, let's crack on. Let's get on to some more games. Okay, that's how we always like. Right, so this time we've got Sicilian defense and my opponent, I think, wants to... Oh, all right. I thought they were trying the famed Morris Smith gambit, but um, no, I don't believe that's what they want to do. So in these positions, I, I, you know, I think I just like to get my pieces out because well, that's what we're supposed to do. Oh, that's a rook. Thank you. That's why we love those sniper. Okay, 
and that may be a resignation already wow okay yeah those are those positions i always talk about oh look they ran away but it was inevitable we, you know that's why the bishops love these long diagonals where they can just create havoc just swoop down and grab us off a juicy rook okay on to the next one what do we got now um righty okay let's go queen side all right are they gonna pin me no pin you're gonna pin me now you know you want to they didn't why not come on pin me please okay all right it's not going to happen righty so what do i really need to do here okay i think i need to i'm not too bothered about that but i've got to be careful that my bishop doesn't get trapped horribly um i would like to yeah i think my rook needs to come here uh can i this may become a target oh are you trying to trap me because that that will not work that will not work i say it will not work so if that's the idea it just really is not going to work so they're going to have to try a bit harder maybe they will and put the queen there or something like that which signals to me that they definitely want to trap my bishop yeah so this is something you have to look out for guys because sometimes you know our bishops can actually get trapped it's another way to win people's pieces in the game you know look out for pieces that have got not a lot of squares to go to so as you can see look at my bishop can't go here can't go there mm. you know it's very close to being trapped but i've always have this little escape door just in case but let me see what they're trying to do all right that's not going to help let's have a look can we are we going to grab ourselves another rook okay i guess that was a, asking a bit too much but let's have a little pinny pin here does that work uh yeah now then they're gonna block then they're gonna castle then i need to sort my bishop out yeah i do need to sort my bishop out yeah i don't think i like the space place of my bishop so let's let's get this bishop all right let's do it this way oh did i do it right yeah i did Ooh. What I'm, what I'm talking oh maybe i didn't do it right ah uh, ah uh, have i just messed up badly no because it's this move that i'm kind of a little bit worried about but do i need to be worried about it okay well i guess not now definitely i don't need to be worried about it now go on go on go on so let me grab that rook. Go on then. Go on, you know you want to. <laughs> but um Okay, maybe they're not going to. What a spoil sport. Alright, I better make a bit more space for my bishop to be useful. Alright now let me be a pest because this minion's a target now i'm going to be a pest forcing one of the expensive pieces those powerful pieces those oh, okay what else can we do here um i think we just bring more firepower i think that's what we do here just more firepower and the idea being that we want to start targeting their king side, start being a real pest, a pest of epic proportions. Ah, queen for queen before I can get started. Ah, that's okay. I think I can live with that. So I think I can do this. Get my rook involved, I believe. Then I need to sort this out before that becomes too much. Actually, I don't need to sort that out. That's fine. Just need to get my other rook involved. Right, so now that we've got him to 
protect. Now I just need to get more firepower up against this. Where's that horsey want to go? That horsey, actually, no, if the horsey goes there, all right, so that's not a problem. So then we want to get more firepower, is what I said. I'm gonna go up, over. I guess they can start trying to protect themselves. Um, what can I do here? Now we've got a new target, right? Yep, we've got a new target. Let's, you know, eventually we want to win one of these little guys. Um, let me have a sip of that tea of knowledge. Yes. Hmm. Yep, we've got this. So that's one minion in our favour, and then I think I could even do this. Righty. I think I go back up to the top. This becomes a new target. So there we go, something as simple as that. Just causing lots of trouble. All right, so that's not a new target anymore. So what I really wanted to do was this. This is what I really wanted to do. And yep, and now this rook can find a new home to become a pest. Um, I believe we definitely grab this. And then we definitely, oh, no, no. Why did I fall for that? Ah, I wasn't paying attention. Mwah. Now I've got all my hard work has gone out the window. So let's do it like this. Let him take me and then we'll trap him. Then we'll trap you. And then I better make a, a doorway for my um, king. I gave it all away. Ah. Oh dear. Gave it all away. So now, and then they're going to start coming to harass me. And I have to, I, yeah. Can't even do anything about it. Oh, that was really bad, just giving stuff away. Okay. Huh? Okay. Since you. Oh! I thought I did that move. I thought I played this. <laughs> and now I'm in serious trouble. All kind of trouble. All right. All kind of trouble. Oh dear. Oh no. Fallen for a trick. Ah, oh, falling apart. Completely fallen apart. Oh dear. Oh wow. Ah, just no good. Just no good. Fallen apart completely. Now I uh, should. Yeah, this is just an horrible loss. How did I fall apart so easy? Is that checkmate? I think he missed checkmate. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is all over. It's all over. Bar the screaming. Okay, we can resign. Oh wow, that was really bad. Okay, so what happened there uh, was completely fine. And then, um, yeah, I thought I made a move and I was wondering why is the clock still going? Yeah, I ended up making this move. Yes, here. And I thought I'd done this already. And then I kind of got tied up. Yes, there's, how do I, how do I, how do I sort these pieces out? These pieces are looking really good. Oh, well, okay, these things do happen. Time pressure, it can happen to anybody. Yeah, I fell apart underneath the time pressure. Yes, uh, and then uh, once I, I sort of made this mistake, then I was tied in. 
then the real bad mistake look at this beautiful by my opponent beautiful beautiful move um so this rook is pinning this pawn so this pawn can't actually take the horsey or my king and on top of it it's a pin plus a fork that's a lot of green paint so let's just look at what the horse is doing it's a lovely move look at that i gotta save my king it's a chickity where do i go and then afterwards ugh, horrible okay well done to my opponent let's get one more in see what happens okay let's have a look okay well let's get straight into it um what do you want to do here nothing yet i just want my pieces in good positions let's see um right let's try a little no that's not ah that's pointless let me see he's gonna play this but maybe i want that maybe i do want that Yes, I think I do want that. Because ah. then I can maybe put my rook here. Then maybe... Can I actually do this? Might have a little trick here. Maybe. Oh, no! Ah! I wasn't paying attention! Ah! Well, I don't mind. It's gonna. It's well. It's about to get very messy here. Yes, I thought it's gonna do that, but give me that, and I'll take more if you want. You can have my rook. Okay, I didn't think so. But now you want my. You want my. Okay, you can have that as well if you want. Take my rook then, because then you won't have much defense around your king. Now, all your light squares are in trouble. Get this bishop here and we're already threatening checkmate. That's why they tried to go with this move here. Ah, this, could, this can get very interesting. All right, I need my pieces in the right position. So this looks good to me. Okay, and what else do I need? I think this rook doesn't belong here. This rook might belong. Get this queen out of the way. Let's get this queen out of the way. Yes, because the the king side over here has got it's not you know it hasn't got a light square bishop. So these squares are all could be great opportunities for me. So how do I work this? First of all, we grab that horsey. That's what we do to begin with. That's got to be good for us. Then once I free this queen and it can actually see by getting rid of those minions i will be in a very strong position but if i put the bishop here then it's kind of stuck for a little while ah that's really annoying that is no but we can always reposition stuff we can always reposition sort of like this Oh, this is also a potential fork waiting if this this horsey moves anyway. So this horsey can't move. We've got a chickety waiting. We've got a lot of things happening here. Right. Now what did we say we was gonna do? The horsey can't move, can it? Since the horsey can't oh no it can't oh yeah uh -huh. Uh, what do I do here? What do I do? What do I do? Why don't I try and get this bishop to do a better job? Pin that horsey to the rook. Yeah, why don't I do that? So, using a bit of minion power to try and help me. Hmm. Try to connect the two. Oh, well, we said that horsey couldn't move, didn't we? There was a reason we said the horsey couldn't move. And that was it. And now, my friend, it is horrible. Horrible. Yep. And then we just start to, there's the bishop, chickity. Now the queen can see. Yep, 
this is just too much that king cannot survive for long with no shelter the minions are the shelter exactly cannot survive for long so my that this is the reason why my opponent resigned because basically with a king out in the open what's it really going to hide behind look at my king my king here is safe with its three minions and a horsey for protection whereas we've got this open doorway to the king and obviously my bishop's already looking this queen is soon going to be looking this horsey is ready to jump the rook has got ways of getting in we won't go to this square exactly yes we can we can go to that square there's too many ways to get in and it will be checkmate sooner or later okay guys well that was very interesting you saw two victories and you saw a defeat and as i've always said these things happen in chess no matter how good you are you are going to be defeated at some point but the most important thing is to try to never give up and keep working and try to learn from your mistakes because if you can do this then it just means slowly but surely you start to get a little bit better, a little bit better. And over time, you get a real lot better. Okay, guys, I hope you've learned something, especially as there may be some tournaments up and coming. And um, I really hope that one, you learn how to keep fighting. Two, always be looking out for those tricks. I mean, that pin, that, that, com that combo, that killer combo that basically my opponent got me with, which was a... Uh, a pin and a fork combined very powerful stuff and i'll see you all on the next episode of chess battles see you guys